Hello and welcome. Today we're adding another set of catch wires to this trellis. Catch wires keep the shoes from flopping over and covering the canopy. We'll show you some tools and techniques we use to get this job done. This is Vineyard Life. In this series, we'll explore the frustrations and joys of owning a hobby vineyard. We'll also include links to low cost or free resources to help you grow grapes. We'd love to have your comments. You can leave them below. Last year, we realized we needed catch wires at the top of these posts. We wanted to add them in early spring after pruning so we don't damage the new buds. The existing wires are held to the post with U-shaped nails. We'll do the same thing for the wires we're adding today. We are using 12 gauge high tensile steel wire available at many hardware stores. The tools and equipment we use include a spinning jenny, U-shaped nails, hammers, wire cutters, wire connectors, and a tensioning tool. First we attach the nails, about two inches from the top of the post. Then we assemble the spinning jenny and place it about 40 feet from the end of the first post. Jenny keeps the wire from unraveling while you use it. Placing it far from the end of the first post keeps the wire from kinking as you thread it through the nail. Thread the wire through the nails until you reach the end of the last post. Because high tensile steel wire is hard to bend, pull more than enough wire through the last nail to reach back to the starting point. Instead of cutting the wire here, we're going to wrap it around the end post and continue up the other side until we reach the starting point. This allows us to use only one connector for both wires. Having only one connector makes it easier to retension the wire when it's necessary. Insert the wire into the ends of the connectors and adjust with the tensioning. Trim off the excess wire and you're done. Here's the result, ready for those extra long shoots. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not subscribe?